It's recording now. I don't want to tell you anything. Yes. This is sent yes. to My wife, Cindy, is now signing an affidavit to State Senate. She ought to be doing some fighting, I guess. I know I had she had it in her. Thank you. <laughs> You're worried about that now? <laughs> Thank you, baby. My name's Tony. Thank you. I run the concrete site. Okay. So anytime you do anything here, just let me know. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe just a just a target email, you know, email that I need to email the demo set on that. Yep. Just say, hey, this is being in. Yep. So we do it. I come back in. Yes. Because this guy's cross is like 10 across on stage on both sides. Yeah, we're in that. Yeah. All right, thank you, Dan. Okay, thank you. No, no, I know. Front sits by itself. Front sits by itself. Comptoir. Yeah. Yes. You will be. Yeah. You're on, Mr. Zero. Yeah. It is. I'm surprised one of the I'm surprised one of the Dennis just moved in the picture. How are you doing? Uh, <clears throat> great, doing very well. Hey, how how's it going? Nice to see you. Great, nice to see you. Cindy's signing up here. Say, uh, great day. I'll make quick introductions here. I have the whole family with me. It's my wife Susie here, and our three kids. This is Colby, <laughs> Everybody and Lindsay, and Tommy Tornado. Who many of you heard me talk about. And also, I'm uh, very happy to have my parents here with me today too. This is my mother Denise, and my father Bruce. So. Uh, Glad you could all join us. I'm going to make it official here by uh, signing the documents and make a few remarks. Hey, Kevin, for you yes, a quick family on. portrait, real quick. Absolutely. Right there, sure. All the political signs. Come on in. Okay, right there. Go ahead. Thank you. Great. It's a 
official. Now a candidate for governor? Oh, not official yet. <laughs> one more. That one on each. That's good. All right. I think I one more. Oh, you did that one. I already did that one. So that one and then you have I do, I have that. Yeah. So will you, uh, are you going to do it by assent or pay the filing fee? It's $100. I'm going to pay the filing fee to you right now, Mr. Secretary. Anything I can do to help increase the revenues to the state of New Hampshire, <laughs> I'm happy to do that. So okay. there you go. Well, That's everything <laughs> for you. I must have broke him. <laughs> Can I say it's official now? Yeah. All right, it's yeah. official. <laughs> Officially a candidate for governor. Congratulations. And, uh, thank you very much. Um, you know, we're running a very aggressive grassroots campaign here in the state. Uh, we're picking up great momentum and support everywhere we go. Uh, and, you know, people are joining the campaign by the day. Of course, we've got our, the former uh, House leader, Sherm Packard, on board, and folks like Wayne Semprini, former Congressman Bill Zell. Uh, talking to him all the time. So a whole host of folks that are joining the campaign. and. You know, we've been out there very aggressively talking to the voters. We're the only candidate that's doing town hall meetings. We have our ninth one we're doing tonight in Brookline. We're doing 14 of them over eight weeks. And when I'm out there talking to folks about why I think we're gaining, gaining such great momentum is because we're saying this campaign is about the choice, the choice between doing business as usual in Concord and, and the stale politics of the past, or whether we're going to chart a new course, a new vision for the future of New Hampshire. And I'm the only candidate that's put out a specific plan to really lead us into a new era of prosperity. The only one talking about lowering the business taxes, lowering the cost of health insurance, cost of electricity <laughs> rates, like you, huh? making government more, afford, uh, more accountable and transparent to the taxpayers, and keeping more of our young people here uh, as well. So we're very excited about the course that this campaign is going, and uh, it's only going to continue to pick up steam and momentum uh, over the next few months as we head towards the fall election. Kevin, the uh, only way Republican wins in all is Likelihood is if the party unites in it for the general election. That's right. Your opponent, uh, yeah. is, uh, he's the only one that can unite that party. Why do you know? Well, I don't, you know, look, I think whoever wins hey. the nomination, uh, the party will unite behind that 